Hello guys and welcome to this video uh, which is number 80 um, and the first one in the graph section. This is a video on coordinates, um, plotting them and knowing how to write them. So the keywords here are plotting. So plotting is when you put a little X um, in the right place. Uh, you're just showing where the coordinate is. Um, positive is any number that's bigger than zero. Negative is any number that's less than zero and a quadrant is a part of the graph. So there are four quadrants in the graphs that I've drawn for you in questions one and two, and there's one quadrant in question three, which you'll see when I move myself over. Um, so this is the positive quadrant. If you look in question one, just explaining the quadrants for you, the positive one where you've got positive and positive, X is positive, Y is positive. The quadrant to the left of that, well, X is negative and Y is positive. The quadrant below that one, You've got X is negative and Y is negative, and the quadrant next to that one, X is positive and Y is negative. Okay, so there's the explanation there for you. Question, uh, sorry, the method is to plot a coordinate, go left or right first, always do the, the movement on the horizontal first, and then go up or down the stairs, so then the vertical, okay? Um, you probably learnt along the corridor and up or down the stairs at some point. Um, to write a coordinate, make sure you use brackets and put the X value on the left and the Y value on the right. Okay, demonstrated by this little graphic here. Now in question one, what we've got to do is write down the coordinates of A, B and C. So I'm going to write down the letter A equals, I'm going to open up the bracket that the coordinates go in, put a little comma in the middle. And I'm just going to go from zero or from the origin is what that point is called. Um, zero, zero. We're going to move over three to the right and we're going to go up four. So that would be three, four, that coordinate. OK. B is go across one positive down two. So we're one and this time it's minus two because we've had to go two down to get to point B. And to point C, well, we're going to go left. And if we go left, we're going to in negative. We're going to be in the negatives on the x-axis. Negative three, positive two. So minus three, two. There's our um, coordinates, all nice and neat in their brackets. Now, question two says we've got to plot the coordinates this time. Okay, so I'm going to have a little zoom into this one. Let's see if this works. So no, I just have to click that there we go zoomed in right so let's see if we can plot uh, the coordinates we've got two three so two across two up three plot that there with a little x now i can't draw the x with this pen in this particular function doesn't like me doing it so i'll just put a little dot all right but you should draw a little x okay um and that we can label point d i can't do that either because the pen doesn't like to work on this like i just said um, e is 5 minus 5, so go across to 5 and go down 5, and you'll see that that point there is point E, okay, and then point F is minus 2 minus 3, so minus 2 minus 3 is there. It's a relatively simple process, okay, so there's the, the spaces that need to be shown with X's. I'm just putting little dots because the pen doesn't work really. I'll zoom out of that. And then what I'll do is I will try um, to mark them with the normal pen. Let's have a go. So 2, 3 is there. That's point D. And then 5 minus 5 is there. That's E. Didn't really need to zoom in, did I? And then minus 2 minus 3 is there. There we go. Right, I'm going to move myself over then so you can see question 3. Slightly more difficult question in question three for plotting coordinates. This is one where we get some you know, understanding of shapes involved. So GHI is an isosceles triangle. We've got a plot point H, and then we've got to write down the coordinates of point H. Now, this is the second time I've made this video because I forgot to write down the coordinates of point H in the first one. So you won't see that one, and you'll see this one. Now, point G is at 2, 1, okay? Point I is at 5, 1. Point H could be anywhere to make this an isosceles triangle, right? Now, the difference between 2 and 5 is 3, 3 whole units. Now, be careful here because you've got each one little square, one of these little blue squares, is actually worth a half, 
right? Whereas in all the other questions, they were worth one whole unit, right? So it's two squares as a whole unit. So therefore, we're three units away, all right? Six little squares, all right? What we could do is we could go six little squares up, right? Which would be one, two, three units away. We could put, put a point there. And therefore, we'd get an isosceles triangle, all right? Because that length there, the vertical line that I'm showing you, is the same length as the horizontal line, okay? Equally, I mean, that is one option, but equally, we could go halfway between the two points, okay? So three little squares, like one and a half units, and we could go any point. So if I just plotted one there, that would be an isosceles, and there, and anywhere along that line that I'm showing you that I'm marking with these Xs. And you'll learn about this, what this line's called in the next video that I make. All right. But this, any of those points, you could have an isosceles triangle there as well. OK, so I'm going to choose that top one because I know for certain that that length to G and that length to I is the same. And I know it's definitely not the same as this. If it was the same as that one as well, then we'd have an equilateral triangle, not an isosceles one. All right. So isosceles means two lengths that are the same. All right. I'm going to choose that point at the top there. So I'm going to plot that point and call that one point H. I'm going to get rid of everything else that I've done because I was just showing you what the options were. OK, if you joined that point to G and then that to there and that to there, you can see it's a very, very roughly drawn isosceles triangle. You don't have to do that. Right now, plotting the point H is done. Let's write it down. So that is three and a half, six. OK, so 3.56 would be the answer to that one, which I forgot to do in the first time that I uploaded this video. So thank you once again to Dan for spotting that. Um, my spotter always keeping an eye out on those mistakes. Cheers for that, Dan. Um, merch on the way at some point. Um, please like, subscribe, share, um, continue to spot my mistakes. Let me know about things. Um, and be lovely to one another. Thanks for watching this one. I'll see you in the next one.